Hi, Linda. Hi. How, How are, are you doing? I'm fine. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a rock star girlfriend. I am. You are. You are. Everything's in rose colors. Rose colored glasses. Yes. That's the, that's the right way to, to do it. I like it. So I had Linda put on her rock star glasses because, I mean, she is such a rock star. Uh -huh. What did we just do all day here at the doll shop? We filmed uh, wig making. We filmed wig making. Mm -hmm. And we also did wig styling. You did all kinds of wig things. I did. In your workshop with us. I did. It was fun. It is fun. It's I sit fun. here and I watch and I'm just, I'm sitting here because, and I, and I say it to you every time, but I, I said, this is way, way more than I expected or thought you were going to teach us. Okay. You just, you always go the extra mile, way more than I expect from, like, I should, I should just expect the best from you, okay. which I do. But that's a long way for me to just say it was awesome. That's good. Let's show, let's show our friends out there a little of what they can expect and look forward to at the convention with your workshop okay you can't you can take off your glasses if can you I? would like yes you may you may and put on your <laughs> put on your other one so you I can see i can see without him our uh security team is here hi troy hi how's it going <laughs> and there's larry back there we're getting all we're getting all fresh cameras everywhere everywhere so, everywhere they're, they're going to be everywhere so you know you got to have good security so Let's turn it around and let's see what what we're talking about. I am so excited for this class, Linda. Now, where let's go ahead and start at the mohair. That's where we started in in the workshop. Well, we discussed the difference in mohair and how it it comes. This is wefted versus the the roving. How to pull this and use this versus this. How to make a wig cap. You can use fabric, or you can use the wet and shape. You can use Mod Podge. You can use what you have. If you're, um, a lot of times for little teeny dolls, I cut straws, and I use them as curling rods. All different sizes of straws, no problem. You collect them when you go places. We use the old fashioned curling rods to show the difference between a real tight wig and something with sausage curls and how you can go ahead and put bobby pins in there to keep them tight for years. These are the new perm rods. Tools that we can get and we have our trusty curling iron. It's over here. Yes, we, and these are all items that we use here at the shop. This is what we use at the shop. And in the class, she tells you where to get them and everything like that. So, Okay, this came with it. All the different sizes. There's all, okay. The, the three downloads you can get if you want to learn more and read. Would, you can get them from the Doll Artisan Guild. And I would recommend them highly because you... You will forget one little part and it will refresh your memory. And it's good. And the Doll Artisan Guild is also sponsoring a code for all of our conventioneers that is, I believe, I think around $5 it's, or so. It is $5. Five, that, which is a lot because w these are around $5 a piece. So you'll be able to this get is, these for free. Yeah, this is the most expensive one, but th I think this is a dollar or something. I mean, they aren't really that expensive. They're so worth it. It is. And so I mean, all you do is pay for it and it, download it and it's right there and then get it and then we also talked about uh styling we did the difference in styling this was the wig we made with a center part and this is with the curling iron and this one's a little loose because i didn't have my trusty clock because i usually time myself but you can see how much softer this is if we let this sit for overnight we could take this out and these would be really tight, but we could still style it. I like to style them once, then trim them up and completely recurl it. It is so good. So in, in this workshop, we go, we go over all of these things. And this wig right here, this wig right here that you see, Linda makes this entire wig from start to finish in this workshop, which means that if they 
watch and learn and follow along, which I followed along and I, the whole time I'm like, I could do this. With no experience, I could do this. You could. Right? Mm -hmm. You could, and it's not fancy stitching. Please, I mean, it's, you don't have to be a seamstress. Let's just show them. Here, let's, okay, let's turn it, yeah, let's turn it back around. It, it wasn't, and I'm, I'm not a seamstress, and I, and I could do totally it. thought, yeah, I totally thought is I could do this. this I mean, right. there it is. Exactly. So this is, the, the whole thing of what I always want to put out there for everybody is that we want you to feel inspired to be able to do it. Because, Linda, with your students, and I know that you love, I know that you love watching them watching them fly but you have people that come into your classes with no experience at all right and they can learn how to do anything they can it's it's wide open right you can paint anything that you want modern antique figurines i have one student that just wants to do believe it nativity sets and yeah. ornaments of course yeah um it's what you want to do uh, i have Students that want to learn everything and once you've learned one thing you want to learn more. Yeah, you can't you, it, you, just, you can't get your toes in the water and not get in the water. Yeah So exactly so the best thing that you can do for Linda and I and for, and for us is to share this video and tell your friends Because th this course was amazing. Her doll making course was amazing and both of these are Going to be featured at the virtual doll convention along with everything else. Uh, Linda, real quick, when I said we were going to Cindy Bailey's house, oh. see, oh. <laughs> well, what, do you have, what do you have to say about that? I wanted to be in Eric's backpack. <laughs> she wanted to go in Eric's backpack. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't imagine. I will be glued to that screen when that film. In fact, I, I'm going to probably take a sneak peek at the footage before it, it yeah. Yeah, she, she's going to use her she works here card to pull some strings. Yeah, yeah. Eric's, I, I hear those voices. I think I'm going to go over there and figure it out. Yeah, but, so yeah. she's very excited for Cindy Bailey's oh, home tour over I in am. Indiana. Yeah, so we got some really good stuff cooking for you out there, everybody. So this was a little peek into what you can look forward to and expect at the virtual doll convention. It's coming up in about three weeks. Yes. Ah, we're very excited. Bye. All right, bye, everybody.